You may have seen a video or an animated GIF recently of a stick man bursting into life when water is added. And if you're anything like me, your first reaction was to shout, fake, but it's not fake, it's real. And I'm gonna show you how to do it and why it works. The first thing you need is a dry erase marker or a whiteboard marker, and you need a good surface. I've found that glass works well or shiny plates work well. Sometimes metal as well can, can be pretty good. So you draw your stick man using your dry erase marker and then you very gently add water. You don't want the water to splash too strongly over your stick man. You'll notice that the stick man rises to the surface of the water. You can then push it around by tipping the plate or blowing on it or even pulling it around with your fingers. Dry erase markers are designed to behave differently to other pens. So normally when you use a pen, you want the ink to stay where you put it. So they're designed to be really sticky. But with a dry erase marker, you often want to remove the ink when you're finished. So the ink in a dry erase marker is designed to be a lot less sticky. Another couple of properties of dry erase marker ink that are important in this situation. The first is it's not soluble in water and the second is it's less dense than water. So what happens is you draw your stick man on whatever surface you're using. It dries to form a thin solid layer of material and then when you add the water there is a buoyancy force because the ink is less dense than the water. It wants to float upwards and that buoyancy force is able to overwhelm the only slight stickiness of dry erase marker ink and your stick man floats to the surface. From that point you can push it around, blow it around, tilt it around. Because these different inks behave differently you can have some fun with it so you can draw a picture that uses different layers with different types of ink. So here I've got an alien spaceship with a tractor beam and our poor stick man is about to be abducted. So there you go, the mystery of the floating stick man explained. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.